All righty. Well, welcome everybody to our Arex Live. Um, we're hoping to have at least two of these a month. And we're hoping to have some really good guest presenters as well. So we've got two or three guest presenters on this call, which uh, we're pretty excited about. Um, and um, and Emma, my fantastic partner support uh, person, is um, manager, is going to do some uh, some training and stuff a little bit later on. Um, so we hope that these will be really really valuable. So um, a lot of the training that Emma will do will be um, for a lot of your new people who want to come and get, you know, the generic, uh, you know, nuts and bolts of how Arex works. And so we would love you to email au.support at arex.com with uh, any suggestions on what you would like uh, the team to train on. And training will be a big component of this call. Um, so yeah, welcome aboard. The first thing we'd like to do, and hopefully I can unmute her, but I'm going to have uh, the fabulous Miriam uh, come onto the call. Um, Miriam, do you have a camera? Um, let me just make sure I can unmute Miriam here for a second. Can you hear me, Jim? Yep, I can hear you. So for those of you who don't know, Miriam is a fantastic member of our partner support team. She um, has a very active uh, life outside of Arex. She um, is the mother to a, uh, a very active, um, you know, young, young girl. And uh, she also does a lot of her own you know, uh, personal fitness and coaching and stuff like that. So she's kind of been the uh, the go-to person in heading up our Slenderized Drops to Drops Challenge. So I'm going to turn the time over to her and let her know, uh, let her talk about the challenge and what we've been enjoying so far. Thanks so much, Jim. So as you know, we've got the current Slenderized Challenge. So what we've been doing is having weekly milestones to help keep everybody accountable and motivated. And all of the engagement has been really, really amazing. Um, it's actually quite heart heartwarming, particularly the last uh, one we did, um, giving a shout out to recognise people that have been supporting um, each other throughout the journey. So that was actually really amazing to read all of the comments. So we just want to take the opportunity now to congratulate uh, the last five winners of the Milestone Challenges. So first week we had Share Your Goal. Uh, so everyone could pop up their goals for their challenge. And the winner for that week was Belinda Reed. So congratulations to Belinda. The second week we had getting active. So in the slideshow, you can see Lou doing a very creative yoga pose in her living room. So Lou won that one. And for week three, we had the shake it up. So that was getting creative with uh, your shakes to help support you on the challenge. And that one went to Melissa Hindley. Week four, staying accountable. So that was giving tips on how you can um, have been staying accountable throughout the, the challenge. And that one went to Sharon Howell. Uh, the last one, give a shout out, Jasmine Thornton. So Jasmine's been emailing through every single week um, entering these challenges. So that one went out to Jasmine. So currently this week, it's get creative with your activities. So yeah, we're looking for lots of different ways people are getting active, getting creative. Um, yeah, so we've only got a couple more weeks to go. So we're near the end. Yeah, so thank you. Thank you, Miriam. Okay. Now I don't have to do sign language anymore, but thanks for that, Miriam. And um, yeah, we're getting fantastic feedback from the from the team about uh, about uh, their experiences. And it's created a lot of activity on social media too, which is great. So um, well done, everybody, for, uh, for participating in that. 
um, and it's been uh, it's been really fun to uh, uh, to take part in it. So thank you. So what we'd like to do now, and hopefully I can now go on to the big screen, um, is um, talk about our new title advancements, and that's traditionally handled by Emma and Ella. So let me just see if I can unmute those guys. I'll just uh, give me two seconds and I'll um, unmute them. Um, Thanks, Jim. Uh, so yeah, Ella and Emma, you should be on mute. I'll go back to share my screen again so we can recognize all these great people. Okay, so our new title advancements are from week 24 to week 46, um, starting with our new, sorry, week 44, uh, starting with our new senior team leaders. So we've got Louisa Moore from Colosseum in Queensland. Congrats. We've got Erin Waters from Kincumber in New South Wales. Lisa Carithers in Fraser Rise in Victoria. Joanne Navratil from Kilawarra. Bronwyn Curran, The Pocket, New South Wales. Rebecca Young from Rockville, Queensland. Alex Bichner from Wavell Heights in Queensland. Danielle Mortimer from Backmead in New South Wales. Maureen Rose from Hinton in New South Wales. Lisa Oro from Lake Wendery in Victoria. Beverly Williams from Penguin in Tasmania. Okay. Antoinette Preston from Diggers Rest in Victoria. Marlene Stacey from Carabooda in WA. Marion Brady from Morayfield in Queensland. Amy McDonald from Brisbane Downs in Queensland. Jodie Brown from Mount Helena in WA. And Joanne Tompkins from Warrington in New South Wales. Congratulations nice to the senior team leads. Next is supervisor, new supervisors. So Emma King from Camsey, New South Wales. Lee Ryan from Thornley in WA. Sarah De Silva from Gladstone Park in Tasmania. Kyra Green from Karam Downs, Victoria. Angela Weeks from Springfield Lakes in Queensland. Melanie Burns from Kilmore, Victoria. I Irene, sorry, go back. Irene Dela Cruz from Kenmore Hills in Queensland. Leanne Sawyer from Inverlee in Victoria. And Teresa Willen from Yellow North in Victoria. Josephine Percy from Newcastle. Jamie Fallon from Seville Grove in WA. Lucrezia Del Gesso from Redcliffe WA. Sharon Howie in Northgate, South Australia. Melissa and Ben Kirkwood from Springfield, Queensland. Alicia Johnson from Bakewell in Northern Territory. Ashley Spence from Grace Mayor, Queensland. Ty Gordon from Tamworth in New South Wales. You're three. Uh, Jim, have we got another slide? Yeah, sorry. Debbie Felsen from Speedwood in WA. Louise Burke from Alderley, Queensland. Christina Garvey from Wavell Heights in Queensland. Jan Fergus from Kelvin Grove, Queensland. Sarah Downs from Pimpermine, Queensland. Deborah Willoughby from Harlan, Queensland. Kim Miller from Wavell Heights in Queensland. Yin Chung Shen from Perth, WA. And Janelle Peachy from Woodburn, New South Wales. Congratulations, guys. And now our senior supervisors. We've got Kate Charlton from Narang, Queensland. Rebecca Johnson from Bendigo in Victoria. Holly Ismaili from Caroline Springs, Victoria. Sonia Dubar from Sandcrox in New South Wales. Chantelle Shortland from Burdell, Queensland. Melanie Fry from Coburg in North. Victoria. Ashley Asmussen from Newborough, Victoria. Ellie Haywood from Trafalgar in Victoria. Catherine Bingham from Swifts Creek, Victoria. Deneen Dubois from Talabudgery in Queensland. Christy Riley from Wardell, New South Wales. Lena Mazai from Strathmore in Victoria. Tracy Eastall from 
to Gul to Gulua, Queensland. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Cheryl McCormack from Glengarry, Victoria. Vera Podlassi from Hendra, Queensland. Michelle Maliko from Trafalgar in Victoria. Kendall Selton from Drew Jody in Victoria. Jodie O'Neill from Carrara in Queensland. Marika Spateri from Scarness, Queensland. Kim Buckingham from Doreen in Victoria. Narelle Adams from Maroochydore, Queensland. Katrina Shell from Townsville in Queensland. Julie Allen from Oraknabil. Oracne... Come on, Jim, what is that one? Oraknabil. Oracne <laughs> That's half the fun. Isn't <laughs> and Anne Farmer from Jindabyne. Congratulations to all those senior supervisors. Oh, we've got some more. Wow. Darren Peters from Belmont, New South Wales. Monica Evers from White Hills, Victoria. Rose Barnett from Scottsdale, Tasmania. Jay and Stuart Edman from Mudjurraba in Queensland. Cindy Lowe from ben, Bansdale, Victoria. <laughs> Rebecca Seacos from South Melbourne in Victoria. Vanessa Garbutt from Melbourne, Victoria. Lorene Melman from Mitchell, Queensland. Amy Germany from Inverell, New South Wales. Natasha Garvey from Wavell Heights in Queensland. Maxine Orford from Toowoomba, Queensland. Rebecca McDonald from Budrum in Queensland. Amy Fitzsimmons from Stockton, New South Wales. Jim, can we have the next slide, please? Thank you, pardon. Thank you. Leslie Campbell from Elsinville in New South Wales. Jennifer Hebron from Toowong, Queensland. Sarah Shepherd from Overly in WA, sorry. Kylie Stewart from Pakenham, Victoria. Leanne Foote from Leon Gather in Victoria. Yu Chun Lam from Mossman, New South Wales. And Lisa Beaton from Salisbury Heights in Queensland. And now to our managers, starting with Judy Barber from Mackay, North Queensland. Chloe Maxwell from Beto Bay in New South Wales. Lisa Thornton from Canberra ACT. Vincesa Romano Vincesa. from Glenroy, Victoria. Sorry, Rachel Vincesa. Adams from Casino, New South Wales. Karen Kasberg from Bald Hills in Queensland. Marianne Elman from Brooklyn, Victoria. Christine Standing from Nambuka Heads in New South Wales. <laughs> and now to our senior managers, starting with Lauren Mul Lorraine Mulcahy from Kareel in New South Wales. Leah Cameron Stone from Jundalup in WA. Eleanor Carlo from Hazel Mir WA. Anne McGregory from Gunalumba. <laughs> Naomi Nichols from Hagley, New South uh, Tasmania. <laughs> Congratulations. And our directors. So we've got Christine Madeira from Kurunjang in Victoria. We've got Nikki Amos from Ashmore in Queensland. And Jin May Powell from Indrapilly, Queensland. Woohoo! Oh, and our vice presidents, we have Donna Bailey from Traralgon, Victoria. And Debbie O'Connell from Cloncurry in Queensland. Congratulations. <clears throat> all righty. Well, congratulations to all those people. We apologise for that. It's been, um, it has been uh, a, a while since we've had an RX Live. And, um, yeah, so I just wanted to um, congratulate those people. Um, and what I want to do now is I want to um, turn my, share my screen. So I'm going to stop this share and then I'm going to share or bring up onto the screen um, uh, the wonderful Pam Harris, who has travelled the country far and wide with us uh, this last <laughs> month um, and provided some really excellent training. And so uh, because of time differences and stuff like that, we thought we would get her on early in the call to share some really invaluable product information. And um, she's gonna share her screen um, and um, provide some training for us. Over to you, Pam. I wanna make sure I unmute you. So. Okay. There you go. Hi. So is it, can I get rid of all these little people on the side there? How do I do that? Hide the thumbnail, there we go. Just cause it's gonna be in the way. So hello everyone. Um, I've been here, there and everywhere around the country, really helping everyone understand how to be wellness coaches. So I'm gonna try and just go through it quickly in 15 minutes. Goodness knows how I'm gonna to manage to do it, but I'll do my best, Jim. So um, basically I decided that I refused to accept 
death at 80 years of age, um, which is the average in Australia. So I've added um, another 30 years to my leaving planet Earth. Uh, and I have a plan that will help me be able to survive for all that time. So no matter how old you are now, this plan will apply to you. So we all need to um, look after three main um, issues in our bodies to keep optimal health. The first is oxygen. You can only survive three minutes without it. Water, you can survive, I think, about three days, two or three days, and nutrition is only a couple of weeks. So let's see how the products that we have in our hands can be used. So the first one is going to be looking at air and oxygen. Um, this is actually a slide of Bangkok, but I tell you my valley in Queensland is looking like exactly that lately. Um, so, you know, dust, soot, all sorts of pollutants floating around. Pollutants and things like that cause problems in people's airways. And so it's not just outside, but it's also inside. Um, there's a thing called outgas and adhesives from all the things that you have in your house. The carpet, the furniture, the curtains, the paint, the things that are inside it, the furniture, they're all outgassed, all sorts of chemicals, and you're breathing those in. So that's why the Purity air conditioner is so effective. There's nothing like getting rid of the cause of the problem to make your breathing better. So if you've got people that have got any lung problem, you immediately think the air filter. Incredible thing, 11 stages of filtration, and it ionises the air. So Pam, um, can, I, um, can I just share with you while you've got that on the screen that yeah. we, um, Emma and, and myself will be launching hopefully next week um, an interest-free option for people to buy the Purity Air Filter. So that's, that's pretty oh. exciting. They can actually purchase it from us six months interest-free. So wow, that's amazing because it's an incredibly useful um, tool for people. If you sleeping in a room especially you know for eight hours you need to get rid of the things that are causing the problem so oh, yeah. I thought I'd uh, just share that with you so thanks for, uh, Thank thanks you. for talking about it so um sticking with oxygen um I've shared with everyone the effect of not having enough omega-3 in your body what it does to your red blood cells. So it doesn't just affect the red blood cells, it's the membrane of every single cell. So nutrients have to wiggle in and waste has to wiggle out. And if the cell wall becomes stiff and inflexible, then nutrients cannot get in and waste cannot get out. This is one of the drivers of what's called insulin resistance. And um, you can be eating lots of food, but it, you know, not the nutrition is not getting into cells correctly unless the cell membrane is flexible. So this whole process is called cellular respiration. Insulin resistance is when the actual doorway or receptor site on the cell wall disappears. So spraying it down with omega-3 is going to um, allow the cell wall to be really flexible and move around really fluidly, just like, you know, an, an electrical automatically rotating door there. So if you think about omega-3, it's really something every single person needs. It's an instant, essential nutrient. We can't make it. Um, Deanna's sourced an incredibly clean fish oil and then she's done a very smart thing and added CoQ10 in it. Um, so that allows the inside of the cell to be cleansed um, as well. So you want to be looking at in regards to like basic cell wall nutrition is vanali. Vitamin C is the most effective antioxidant for the cell wall. So anybody that's got lots of inflammation and they're struggling with that will then think about vanali, especially sinus problems and upper airway things. 
um, mower, again, the, if you've got something wrong with the lungs, you think mower straight away. Um, some of these mushrooms are just incredible and especially the mataki gold. I think that's the most expensive um, raw ingredient that Deanna deals with and um, all these other, yeah, they're just so good for your lung function. Um, my personal trainer increased her time over a 16 kilometer run that she does by two and a half minutes. So um, yeah, this is a very, very powerful effect on the lungs. Um, the next thing we'll talk about is water and how the body uses water. Um, tap water, we kind of all started to steer away from because it's chlorine and fluoride in it but and we've all moved to bottled water but now there's these horrific implications that are occurring in the environment around bottled water and we also know that this microplast is coming from the lid of the water bottles so we don't want to be drinking bottled water anymore because of the effect that it's having on our hormones and i've got a really good recording um called the what is it? Oh, I have to, can't think of the name of it. It's about um, the survival of a human species. Talking about the effect that it has on our hormones. So the solution is the Purity Water Filter. Um, a fantastic product, cleans everything. It's easy to use. More importantly, it stops 450 bottles going into the landfill. Um, so it really is the urban companion, the best thing that I've seen for a very long time. Um, how does the body use water? Well, we've got the blood, the vascular system. Obviously, we need a, a lot of fluid content for that. The nervous system doesn't use that much, although it does need some fluid. There's another system, the lymphatic system, that uses a huge amount of fluid. And so this is, um, all the cells are kind of floating in this lymphatic fluid. So the blood comes in here, the veins go away, there's nerves going in, but this green stuff is, and that's really where all the waste is turfed out of the cells and it kind of floats around and eventually ends up in these lymphatic channels. And so how do you, the problem, with sitting around and not doing anything is that you're not moving your lymphatic fluid. How do you get somebody that is happy watching Netflix and eating pizza to go out onto the beach and move their body? Because G-force is the only way that that lymphatic fluid is going to move. How do you get somebody that's dealing with, you know, depression and to get out and exercise because that is the solution to their problems. Well, I call rejuvenous zippy pills because I'm telling you, I just don't know how anyone can be sad if they've taken some of these pills. They've got lots and lots of beautiful super fruits in it and then um, L-theanine and green coffee combined together with chamomile and hawthorn and they provide a really good energy surge, but it's the, the nervous system is supported with the chamomile and the hawthorn um, supports the heart. It's a fantastic formula. Um, and of course, we've got Elite, and that's got ashwagandha in it, or withania is the Western herbal name for it. And this has an incredible effect on people that are stressed out and, you know, like dragging their tail. And that's a huge, huge problem in society. Um, so elite is something that you would talk about if somebody is anxious, depressed, or lost their mojo. You're also, another ingredient in elite, astaxanthin, is a very powerful um, antioxidant. It's, you know, stronger than all of these things here. Um, it is an algae and krill feed on it. So you find it in really pristine environments like the North and South Pole. And that's how whales get enough energy to swim so far. And they just suck these big plumes of krill down. And salmon feed on krill and 
astaxanthin is the reason why they're able to leap up waterfalls. So if you want to have enough energy to leap up a waterfall, you know, you need to get some astaxanthin into you. And that's what we've got with Elite. The other ingredient in Elite is Indian gooseberry that really helps the cells dump a lot of inflammatory mediators out. It clean, helps it clean. Also, you need to have a little bit of a caution with Elite because of this issue. So the sicker someone is, the slower that you introduce Elite. Um, because if you're dumping waste that's been stuck in the cell for quite a long time, there'll be a lot and the kidneys get overwhelmed. So um, be careful. The other thing that can happen is that somebody can be quite acidic. And this especially happens if somebody's got a pH that's lower than seven in their saliva. What happens is that the neurotransmitter GABA is disabled and um, they have insomnia, they can't stop thinking about negative things, they're cranky, they're tired, they've got aches and pains, you know, they lose it really easily. So Elite will alkalize the tissue, but you really, really importantly need to detox with Restorex when you're doing this because um, the liver goes to a lot of trouble to create those fat cells and to hide all the toxins in it. So when you're um, dieting, that's another reason why you need to detox is that it will clear all that stuff out through the kidneys and the liver will realise that it's safe to break the fat cells down and it doesn't, you know, so detoxing is a very, very important process of getting well, recovering from any kind of fatigue problem and for maintaining weight loss. Can't stress how important, can't stress enough rather, how important this is. Um, because a lot of people don't realise that the kidneys have a doorman and they won't let some things through. If they think that it's going to damage them, it won't let them in. Think about it. Would someone like that knock on your door? Would you let her inside? Like really such a havoc. And so how the zeolite in Restorex works is that it attracts just by the fact that it's got really negative ions inside the matrix. It attracts all these crazy things that have got lots and lots of electrons flying around, like heavy metals, all the chemicals, pesticides, uh, radioactive isotopes, things like that, are sucked inside the zeolite matrix and then it can be shifted out through the kidneys. Really important that everybody detoxes a lot, at least six months. Um, if not a year, like I'm shocked sometimes at what I realise is coming out of my body when I've been detoxing for a long time. Now, I've got this slide here because I want you all to remember that you've got to mix the Restorex with something that's not metal, okay? this I take a little shot of it, but I mix it up with a plastic spoon because if you mix it with a metal spoon or put it in a metal container, it'll draw the metal inside. Um, it won't hurt you, but you'll waste the zeolite. Um, the other thing is for the kidney function is mower. Um, you know, if you think it's got a kidney, someone with a kidney problem, recommend mower. It's, you know, I'm very pleased to see that some of those mushrooms help the kidneys. Um, and the last thing really in regards to water would be this Vinali is really good for this tiny, you know, the microcirculation. Um, nutrition, here's Deanna and Dr. Strand talking about the optimal nutrition, how much, opt, um, you know, it's not possible to actually consume optimal nutrition. These are fantastic products. Um, digestive function is important. Uh, and again, I look at Elite because it's got aloe vera in it that soothes the tummy. Um, and L-lysine. Now, the digestive system has a very vigilant immune system monitoring. The immune system needs L-lysine. But you need it for all these other things as well. So supporting, uh, taking Elite is going to be supporting your immune system. Um, and 
another um, interesting thing that your digestive tract needs is here's the towels with all the little um, polynocytes or you know digestive cells in it, and they have these things called tight junctions. Now, if you're vitamin D deficient, those junctions are not tight; they will pull apart. And they let all sorts of crazy stuff in and that can trigger an autoimmune response. So don't just think manly cow D is magnesium, calcium. It's also vitamin D and it is a, it's a hormone, not just a vitamin. And it's important for our digestive system. Um, going over time, sorry, Jim, but I'm nearly done. Now, the tummy, uh, the digestive system also needs pure nourish because it's got proteins that aren't difficult for it to break down. And it's also got all this um, probiotics and, you know, uh, enzymes there that you can see that support digestive function. Um, giving greens, look at that. Two scoops of giving greens is that massive big pile of green veggies in front of Diana. So this is a very underrated product. Everybody should be taking two scoops of this every day. Fantastic nutrition. And then we've got our weight loss drops. The day drops reduce our appetite, slow down the absorption of carbohydrates, and the night drops um, increase our maintenance system, it helps our cortisol down, releases our stress, helps our tummies work a lot better. These drops are very effective. Um, and Power Boost is another way designed to maintain muscle mass when you're losing weight. So um, that's a fantastic thing to add to your shakes and it also helps increase your mental focus with these medium chain triglycerides. The brain loves that as food. Um, Beauty Boost, fantastic as, uh, you know, to increase your skin and um, just your hair, nails, all that thing, just fantastic. And it makes the shake taste like a Jaffa. So what I've been talking about is the clinical pack and it is the best deal. I pretty much almost consume a clinical pack every month, I think. And so this is how I, everyone's been asking me, what do I take? This is what I take every day. And I mix it up into a shake. So I just dump the powders in a little bowl, I open the capsules, and then I mix them up with the bar mix, put the molar in it, and then I've got this shake at the end and one Omega Q. Now, the beauty of this idea is that a lot of people don't like taking lots of pills and doing stuff, but you're pretty much making up a shake and making food. So I don't find the process of gathering up all this a problem. And then you just swallow the Omega Q with the shake. And I think you'd have much higher long-term compliance from people. Um, if you suggest that, you know, if they start complaining about taking so much. And so uh, that's my plan to live to 110. Um, these are all the things that I thought were important and these are the products that I'm using. So I'm sorry I went three minutes over, Jim, but I did my best. That's awesome, Pam. Every time you uh, you get on, it's uh, it's incredible. So, thank you so much. Okay, so I'll give you back the controls. Thank you. Thank you. So now I um, get to introduce our next guest speaker, and I'm going to share the screen with her. But this is. Uh, a really uh, lovely person that I got to know uh, quite a bit about over the uh, last, say, two or three months of our journey. And, um, and she has an amazing transformation story of her own. Um, she's based out in Perth, Western Australia, which, interestingly enough, uh, is the furthest, um, furthest capital city from corporate headquarters. And um, a lot of people don't know that. So uh, let me just see if I can, sh 
Um, D, would you want to share my screen? I think so. Just let me. I don't have any slides, Jim, so I'll just be talking. <laughs> okay, so we'll keep your good looking picture up. Is that okay? Oh, I like yours. <laughs> okay, take it away, D. Yeah, so um, thank you so much for the opportunity to um, just share with you guys what our team over here are doing in WA. Um, so basically back when I started building the business, um, I had the amazing help from my cousin Tamara and from Martine Wallace. Um, we didn't have uh, testimonial pages back then, we didn't have a presentation back then. So a lot of it was explaining the products on the phone to people, um, which was really awesome. But basically what we're doing now is, um, you know, some people are choosing to do an in-home launch, so a business launch. And basically what they're doing is they're just thinking of the, let's say the top 10, 20 people who um, love them, support them and care for them, um, that are willing to come along and hear about it. The product and the opportunity may or may not be for them, but they're, they're people, everyone's got skin and, um, you know, health issues or improvements they wanna make. Um, they may know people. So that's basically what we're doing. Um, usually with the doing it face to face and as an in-home launch, it's the quickest and fastest way to get information in front of people. Um, however, you do have people who may prefer just to purely build online. Um, and that's great too. You need to do whatever, you know, works for you and your family. Um, and then our team goal is basically to help everyone get their products paid for at the, at the minimum. Because if everyone's getting their products paid for, then they're all getting to use these amazing products for free for themselves and their families. Um, and it's basically creating residual income for them and their family, which is great. Um, so yeah, so we're basically reaching out to people and inviting them to the testimonial page or inviting them to have a look at the what Eric's have to offer, basically. Um, and then if there's someone interested, what a lot of us do is we pop that person into third party validation. And what's incredible is that when you're new to the business, you don't need to go and do all this research and know, um, you know, necessarily even how to build the business or the ingredients or what the products are because you've got your sponsor or your upline to help you. So when someone usually comments on a testimonial page and they want more info or they message one of us, um, we basically just say, look, I'm new to this. And so I'm going to, you know, pop you on the phone or pop you in a message um, so that my friends can help me answer your question. And then basically what we're doing is, um, you know, that person will introduce us and then as the, you know, the sponsor would say, whoever the third party person is, would say like, you know, it's lovely to meet you. If I can ask you what your goals are in relation to your health and skin, I can give you all your options. And then we list the options as um, like weight management, skin, your hormones, your sleep, your cravings, your energy, anxiety, stress, more travel, community and extra income. It sounds like a lot, but when you read it in a message, it, it actually doesn't look like a lot. And then what they're doing is um, basically they'll respond and say, yes, I'd love to improve this, 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 and this. And then as a third party person, it's basically giving us the opportunity to then provide them with the info, um, you know, that could suit their needs basically. And I think with third party, why I love it so much is because I've always done it um, as I've had people around me encourage me to do so and it works but our friends and family, they love us and trust us, but they don't always believe us. And I find that popping someone in a message with a stranger, they tend to tell the stranger some stuff that they haven't told their friends or their family member. Um, and what it also helps with as well is if they decide, okay, I've got enough info from this strange person, um, it tends to push them back to you. Um, and, you know, that way it's not just you dealing with them and answering their questions and then let's say they decide they can't afford it or not right now or it's not for them and they just ignore your message. So it pushes them back to you and it removes the emotional attachment of the outcome as well. You there, Jimbo? No? Okay. Yep. Oh. And I'll keep going then. <laughs> so the other thing with the testimonial page as well is um, it's a great form of drip feeding. So let's say if someone's not interested necessarily and we've sent them a message and said, um, you know, I've got a health and wellness business. I thought, you know, maybe something you're interested in. If not, um, you may know of someone that Rx can help. And once they're on the page, as they're seeing photos and stories and testimonials from customers and distributors, 
um, there may be a photo or a story that um, resonates with them. And so that's when they can reach out and ask for more info as well. Um, so I find that like really helpful. Um, I think for I think for business builders as well is what I found is being really good with um, and consistent with your time management. So for example, um, you know, when you're helping your team and everything and helping them duplicate and stuff, um, it, you can quite easily be on the phone and the computer quite a lot. So what I found um, is really helpful for me personally is I will basically um, wake up in the morning, do a bit of, you know, mindfulness, um, and then I won't look at my phone. I'll wait till Oliver is, has gone to school. Then, because obviously, you know, we wake up and there's lots of messages or, you know, news on the on Facebook and negative things and um, it can fill your head before your day's even started. So I've been doing that. Then check if anything's urgent, go for an exercise because I've just started exercising. Now I've got energy and strength and stuff. Um, and then I've basically got my Google Cal and I've time blocked so when I will do, say, my own reaching out, my own follow-up, and then when I'm doing, um, you know, say, helping the team and stuff um, or, you know, creating some content presentations and things like that. And then when it comes 3 o'clock, I'm trying my very best. I'm still working on it. Um, we can always improve. Um, 3 o'clock, as soon as Ollie comes home from school, I put my phone away and then it doesn't come back out until 7.30 once he's in bed. And then... I don't do that every night, but just some nights because obviously you might have, you know, um, catch ups with friends or um, dinners or you want to go on a date with your partner and whatnot. And so I'm finding doing that structure and being consistent with it every day, it's making it a lot more manageable. And the reason that most of us are doing RX anyway is to be able to have, you know, an extra source of income to work around our families. Um, so that is what I've been finding really helpful. And as a, as a team, We've just started a book club and basically we're doing, um, you know, we've got a week to read a couple of chapters or you can listen to it on audio. And then on a Zoom, we're just, um, those who want to jump on, not everyone's going to want to, um, those people who would like to break it down and implement um, whatever they've just learnt, we do that, we're doing that on a Zoom. And so that'll be like books based on personal development or breaking through mindsets um, and things like that. So we're finding that, yeah, super helpful as well. Yeah, that's amazing, uh, Dee, and uh, thanks for jumping on because, of course, uh, you know, as leaders out in the field, um, people are often told, oh, I can't do that because I'm a single mum or I can't do that because I'm working full time and, you know, uh, all of those sorts of things. And some of my most inspirational people that I've met have actually come from, uh, from uh, you know, Western Australia. I mean, Karen's a great example who runs a gym full time, I think, in Australia, she she's probably individually signed up the most people as an individual to to the drops in the program, and she's part of the wonderful team out in Perth. So, um, so yeah, guys, when I post this up on the Facebook page, um, um, you'll yeah, I'll um, I'll tag uh, uh, D uh, in it and our other speakers, Pam and everything, so you can reach out over Facebook, Messenger and stuff like that if you want to, uh, if you want to talk to um, and uh, ask for further information. Okay. Um, so just going on to share with you guys some other things that we've done. We've just completed um, November is Arex's Worldwide Day of Service. And um, the, the team um, took a, a Friday afternoon where we went down to Lighthouse and uh, we provided service. Um, last year, uh, when I was over in the United States interviewing for this job, uh, the whole Arex office, all seven owners, uh, we went to a, um, a church that had been donated to a charity organization to help homeless people transition back into life. So it was a job center for them. You know, they're setting it up so you have computers and emails and access and job tips and you know um psychologists and personal development but of course the chapel was in disrepair and you know i think we spent the afternoon uh, basically ripping up you know all the carpet and uh, planting uh, flower beds and um you know doing that sort of stuff and so that is continuing as the project for arex corporate and um emma our wonderful partner support manager um, managed to enter us into this partnership with Lighthouse 
what Lighthouse does is it helps underprivileged families who maybe can't afford, you know, to go to Coles and spend 300 bucks on groceries. They can actually come here and for $25, they'll actually get a, trof uh, a trolley full of groceries or they can actually go through the supermarket if they do have a bit of money and they can actually, you know, purchase goods. Um, and so we went down there and stocked the shelves and um, made up food hampers and kits and it was a great afternoon. So uh, we're really, really stoked about that. Um, the next thing we want to talk about is our Super Sunday here in Brisbane. And I have a couple of guest speakers on here that are going to talk about that. So I will turn the time over to them in a moment and stop the share. But if you haven't registered for this, it's this coming Sunday, the 1st of December. It's, a, it's an all day Super Saturday. It's uh, going from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. It's at Fitzy's at Logan Home. Now, the quality of the event that we're providing here um, is, um, is phenomenal. And you would normally pay uh, between two and three hundred dollars each to hear this person speak but Arex have partnered with a couple of the leaders here in Brisbane and we're actually subsidizing uh, this event so if you're in the southeast Queensland area and you've got uh, you've got time on your hand um, on Sunday we would encourage you to make it available and register um, what I'll do is I will stop sharing my screen just quickly and um, I will bring on Lou and Shay um, and get them to talk a little bit. So Lou and Shay, let me make sure I unmute you or maybe you can unmute yourself. Uh, Do it. Oh, wait. No, no, you muted no. it. Yeah. Okay. No, there you go. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Right. Thank you, Pam. And thank you, yes. Dee, for the training. Thank you. Beautiful. Love it. So we, um, yeah, we are, tr we are doing some coaching with this guy, Zach, at the moment. I met him in the middle of the year last year. Uh, and basically, he just gives so much value. He just gives so much. He's just such a giver, this guy. So we went and did a retreat with him on the Gold Coast in February uh, just this year. And we paid about 2500 each mm -hmm. to go. It was a two-and-a-half-day thing. So it's not... You know, thirty dollars a ticket is pretty ridiculous. The fact that we get to go and see him speak—it's crazy. That is the most ridiculous price. And I'm going to challenge everyone, especially what you just said, Jim. If you've got free time, <laughs> no, make the time. Yeah. If you've got something on, cancel it. Yeah, move it. An opportunity like this is not going to come up again. No, it's not. This guy is just catapulting out of this universe he has got so much interest worldwide so we are so 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 lucky to have this fella here with us on sunday so basically what like what can you expect out of this so shay and i have done as you know most of you know we've been in this business for it'll be five years this christmas and we've done it all We've had the peaks, we've had the troughs, we've been in the valley, we've been in the pit, we've lost a whole team, 400 people have exited, 400 people have joined, you know, like it's been everything. And I think the main thing that we realised was the constant in our business was us. Is us, yeah. It was not everything else. Everything else we all have the same of, right? We've got the same products, the same business, the same comp plan, everything. We are the constant within all of that with our own business. So the only way to kind of change yourself is to do the work. So if you have been in this business for a while and you're not where you want to be, or you can really identify some things in yourself that you know are your roadblocks to success or even like, I mean, we, we're there within our own team, we have people who are afraid to talk to people. You know, they're so frightened of what people are going to think of them. Or maybe they just don't have a good attitude about growing a business. Uh, they don't think that they can do it themselves. They know it's going to work because other people have done it with RX. But for themselves, they're feeling like they're not enough or they're not capable of doing it. And I know they are some feelings that I had about myself. And when I did this work with Zach earlier in the year, it all started to change. Not only just the RX business, but 
my relationships with my friends, my family, most importantly with myself in my mind. So it's, it's, this is not just about business. This is not just about RX. This is about how you can change and grow in yourself to be the person that you want to be, who you want to show up as every single day. Yeah, you guys aren't going to be sitting there for four hours just listening to him speak either. So he's got a whole workbook there that we are all going to individually print out and bring. Those are those guys that have already got their tickets. And yep. if you get your tickets, you'll need to print out a workbook. Keep an eye out for an email shortly. Yeah. And there's going to be big emotions, big energy, probably a bit of low energy. He'll be pulling out stuff even from your childhood that he's holding you back. So old money stories as well. So if you were told things as a child, like money doesn't grow on trees, money is the root of all evil, you have to work for 50 years to earn any good money all of those sort of things that we get ingrained in us he's going to pull that all apart as well and there's going to be stuff come up for all of us that you didn't even know existed yeah and they're things that will that have been holding us all back from having the success in our business that we want so martine asked on stage at the last conference to put mm -hmm. your hand up if you were happy with where your business was at no one put their hands up so everyone has got room to grow mm -hmm. to be where they want to be. And this is just, we know personal development is really important for this business. Yeah. You look at all the most successful people and how much they invest in their own growth and personal development. I just like what Lou said. I said, do everything you can to get yeah. to this event in Brisbane. It's just for $30. I, I'm still blown away Me that he's too. actually doing this for us. <laughs> yeah. We're, yeah. We're, I think, I think you definitely need to shift the calendar around if you do have something on because you're going to kick yourself it's unless you want to pay four and a half grand to go to his next retreat next year then uh, i'd get your butts there and spend 30 bucks and and change a lot of stuff that perhaps has been holding you back in your life yeah yeah awesome and um and of course then the afternoon um is yeah. going to be taken up by um some of our own leaders uh, martine and nathan included Yep. who will um, share with you once you've uh, once you've been through and deconstructed everything mm -hmm. they're going to then pour the new wine into the new bottle and okay. um, and get you guys sort of um, you know conceptualizing this is what I'm going to do in my first four weeks this is what I'm going to do in my next eight weeks and so it's you know really really practical stuff I get a lot a lot of our customers saying gee Jim I love the products and uh, I'd love to be able to do it as a business, but I just can't. And the reason why they can't is they haven't been taught the skills or the tools. So um, if you want to know the skills and the tools, this is going to be pretty comprehensive. Like we were going to do our own Super Saturday slash Super Sunday on our own. But then when we got talking to these ladies and uh, we, we, we saw this opportunity, we thought, you know, perfect. Here's uh Here's a mega buck uh, uh, opportunity that you, you you know you're getting really um, and well. it's something for a difference too, Jim. You know, like we can we have we have such beautiful access to trainings and all of this stuff, but the work that everyone's going to do with Zach is one of a kind. You know, like everyone who experienced that arrow break at conference, it's that on steroids for four hours. You know, you get to unpack yourself and, and see how amazing you are and let go of all of that stuff. But then being able to then use that new knowledge and that new understanding about yourself with all the leaders training you for the next couple of hours with how to, how to actually do what, it all yeah. in your business. That's the powerful part. You know, so moving on to that planning of the next six months, 12 months, um, you know, it's the, what, what we've got planned is, is going to really shake up everything. And at a time where I think we would normally be relaxing into Winding Christmas, down. this is going to be the time where it's, we can actually stay constant and possibly even grow it because of all of the work we're going to do on that Sunday. Perfect. Yep. Thanks so much, guys. That's awesome. Thanks, Jim. Thank you, Jim. Oh, um, okay, let me just go back to sharing my screen again. So there he is, that's Zach, and we would encourage you to come along to that. Um, the next thing we want to talk about, of course, is the fantastic um, event that we have um, for Melbourne for next year, which is, um, you know, uh, basically it was Transform Gold Coast this year. 
and we're just about to launch the um, the uh, theme for next conference. And look, the um, initial um, take up has been has been amazing. So um, space is going to be really really tight. Um, everybody that attended the Gold Coast, uh, and please forgive me if I'm sounding like I'm. I'm being a self promoter or a big head, but they just all said it was, you know, fantastic. One of the best events that they um, attended. And so we're gonna take that to the next level in Melbourne. And e even as we speak, uh, about two and a half, three weeks after the Gold Coast event, we had sold over 550 tickets to um, to the next, uh, next year's event. So, um, you know, when you consider how many people we had there, that's, um, you know, that's basically everybody that came has bought a ticket to go again next year. And a few have bought 10 packs and five packs so they can bring their friends along. So that's awesome. The other thing we want to make you aware of is the Great Escape in Tahiti. And we've had a great response to this. And um, yeah, so um, we're looking at those um, at those dates. It may move a week or so either way. Um, registration was 10,000 AORs, but we've had a lot of people say, oh, but Jim, what if I haven't got the 10,000 AORs? Um, we are going to do a buy-in option. So in the next week or so, we will put up a SKU, and for 150 bucks, you can register your interest to come along to Tahiti. Um, and um, we're going to offer a buy-in option, so people can actually buy into the um, into the Great Escape. Uh, they need to have. Uh, I think we worked it out that it was 20% uh, of the um, of the value of the trip in AOR points, and then the rest that they can buy in. So if you have friends who want to come, work with them and get them to rank up to senior manager get them to register we would uh, love them to come um tahiti is a beautiful place and we've got some amazing things planned for you so uh, so we just want to uh, make you aware of that um and lastly um we are about to do a sensational pro uh promo um that we've just been sort of conceptualizing with the partners council over the last day or so and it's going to be basically the new way that um, that Arex is going to be doing promotions moving forward. So for our former New Serity people who are so used to buying a whole heap of product and then selling it and you know getting uh, getting money back straight away, you can do that with this program. For those of you who want to share the products with friends. Um, and you want to get the products at uh, uh, amazing prices, you can do that as well. And so Emma's going to take us through a little bit um, at the end of the call here about loyalty uh, shopping and how that Okay, guys. Oh, my goodness. I am so sorry. We're having all sorts of technical glitches. So I'm hoping you can see this screen now. So what I'm showing you is how a preferred customer who doesn't currently have access to loyalty shopping can get access. So what they need to do is place $170 to unlock those savings. So I'm going to add, add a mower to the shopping cart. And there we go. It pops up immediately with congrats. You're now qualified for loyalty shopping. And then we click shop loyalty now. And then you can select from the products that are available. So let's add the Revive Sampler Pack for this preferred customer. So they're going to take advantage of that massive savings of $74.07. .07. So we're going to go to the shopping cart now and check out. So you can see that we've got the one-time purchase. We have MOA. And then below here, you can see the loyalty purchases. So we have the Revive Sampler Pack, which has been discounted with the reward dollars. So you'll see up the top here that there is a balance of $65.18. Let me show you how that's worked out. So if you scroll all the way down in the shopping cart, you can see the reward dollar activity. So this customer started with $0. They purchased the mower, which gave them $139.25. They used $74.07 on the revived sample pack to buy down the discount, which leaves them a balance of $65.18. 
by doing this, by purchasing the $170, this customer now has access to loyalty shopping for the next four weeks. So they'll have that $65 reward dollar their balance to be able to shop in the future. So if the customer wants to continue their access to loyalty shopping, every four weeks, they'll need to place that $170 order. Now for a rep, what you need to do is stay commission qualified. That's 100 PV or $170 plus GST plus shipping. And that will enable you to have these same access to uh, loyalty shopping. Uh, let me switch back to, I'm gonna, now that I've got my computer here, I'll just use this. Okay, so this is what it looks like on a phone. Um, if you're in your account and you don't particularly want to do loyalty shopping right now, you can use this little slider bar uh, here to turn it off. And then you, that will just see you shopping standard products. Let's have a look. You don't earn reward dollars back on loyalty products, but you do earn as a rep, $1 for every dollar you spend as a customer. For every dollar you spend, you get 50%, so 50 cents back. So you can also add your re reward shopping products to your auto delivery. So you can do that there to continue that discount. There is often that limited quantities available to order. So be mindful of that and check back from time to time to see if there's new things. And like Jim said, in December, there's gonna be a fantastic pack that's going to be available. So definitely keep your eyes peeled for that one. Now, we don't want you to lose access. So stay qualified with an auto delivery. If you don't have an auto delivery set up, remember to make a qualifying purchase each month. Without your qualifying purchase, you lose access to the exclusive insider savings of RX Loyalty Shopping, as well as any reward dollars you've accrued. So that means if uh, you become unqualified, you will lose those re reward dollars. So make sure you keep those auto deliveries uh, processing every four weeks. Uh, that's it on that one, Jim. So I'll stop sharing if you like, or do you want me to finish? Yeah, so we apologize for those technical glitches, but this was something that you will recall that, um, that um, Ian uh, spoke uh, quite a bit on at conference. It was part of the whole new um, lifestyle uh, perks that, uh, that was presented. And so the um, promotion that we're running from the 1st of December to the 15th of December um, is going to be the first one that has, um, that has uh, these loyalty reward and it's a, it's a really, really attractive pack. So we went to the Partners Council and said, what would you like, um, what would you like uh, on your, you know, for your December promotion? And uh, they came up with the products and then we went to work with the owners um, and with finance in the US to come up with a really attractive price. So keep an eye on that. Um, I'll go back to sharing my screen and make sure that we cover everything off. Um, okay, so a, few, a couple of important dates that you need to know um, are Australian Christmas closure dates. So Monday the 23rd will be open, will be closed Christmas Eve. Uh, uh, Christmas Day and Boxing Day, and I hope you guys have a great time with your family. And then over the New Year break, we'll be closed uh, Friday the 27th, Monday the 30th, and Tuesday the 31st. And then um, New Year's Day, we're closed, and then we're open again from Thursday the 2nd of January. So uh, thanks so much for being on the call. Uh, thank you for our wonderful contributors. Um, great information from Dee and Pam, and again for our Southeast Queensland people, um, you, you know, if you can, well, well like uh, like the lady said, uh, like Shay said, like um, make yourself available and, and come to that event on Sunday. It's going to be fantastic. Um, thanks again. We uh, we have recorded this, so uh, we will be putting it up again on. Um, on Facebook, we actually have an Australia, well, an Arex corporate YouTube page where you will actually get to see both the US-based Arex live calls and the Australian-based Arex live calls. 
and then you can watch them and share them with your friends. So what we explained about the loyalty shopping may take two or three goes uh, to go through it um, and to have a look at it. Um, and um, we certainly encourage you to go through this video or just go into your back office and go to the videos and training materials in there that it's explained in detail there as well. So Ian shares it as well. So thank you guys. Um, thanks for your time uh, tonight. Thank you for those who have supported me in November. My wife is really pleased to know that it's coming to an end and, uh, and I will lose this 1970s news reader look and go back to my plain old Jimbo look. But thank you so much for those of you who have sponsored me. It's been terrific. Uh, the local um, men's group.